In this video, I'm going to show you the process of importing SVG files into the new Silhouette Studio version 4. Now, you will need Designer Edition or higher in order to import SVG files. Now, the first thing you'll notice when you install this version of Silhouette Studio is that this is a beta and that there may be problems. And I've kind of run into one, which I want to share with you here. And um, you just have to hit agree. So one thing that I will recommend is that because this version overwrites your existing, um, you may want to proceed with caution and not install it unless you have like a, a an extra machine or something that you can install it on so that you don't risk um, running into and encountering other issues. So let's go ahead and show you the process here. Now this is the design window and you have your typical mat that you're used to from the previous version. So we're going to open an SVG file by clicking up here. And I'm going to go ahead and just show you what I've encountered already um, and what's sort of problematic, but it still kind of works. But I think it's a bug and uh, again, it's beta. So they're going to be ironing these out as um, time goes on. So let's open up a panel from one of our everyday cards SVG bundle. And in the previous version, you would highlight the SVG file and go into your cut settings, which was a little icon over here, and um, select cut. Well, it's a little different. So with version four, you're gonna click send, and you're gonna click on, you're gonna select your material. In this case, I'm gonna be cutting it on cardstock. So I'm gonna select cardstock, and I'm gonna hit next. And now here, you'll notice that if I click onto the design and it has a little box around it, these little items over here will light up. Normally, if you don't have anything selected, they're grayed out. So you want to highlight this. And uh, this section here is for the second tool because the Cameo 3 has you know two um, docks or bays for two different devices like a, a pen or a blade or a scoring device, whatever. Um, so in this case, I'm just wanting to cut this out. So the tool number two, I'm going to just leave at ignore. But for tool number one, I'm going to select outline. And you'll notice that when I click on that, it puts a little red line around the design indicating that it's going to cut it. Okay, and then down here, you have the option to cut, score, sketch. Um, and then you can select whether you want to use the auto blade, ratchet blade, or deep cut blade. I'm just using the auto blade. I have a Cameo 3. And you hit next and you hit start and the machine will start cutting. So that all seemed to work fine. Now I'm going to open up Silhouette Studio again because I canceled that cut and I want to show you where I sort of ran into a little problem but it still worked. So I have it open. I'm going to open up a different file from that same bundle and now the only noticeable difference that I see between this file and the previous file is that this file has multiple layers because it has score marks. Now notice what happens when we go into send. Now again, I'm going to select the cardstock that I did the first time. And now here, even though I have this selected and these options light up, when I click on tool one for outline, okay, nothing happens nothing gets selected here but as you can see I've already clicked on this and it is no longer lighting up for me okay so that to me is um, probably a bug because nothing here is changing now despite the fact that it's not changing it still works but I've run into situations where I've done this exact process and it doesn't cut anything because it thinks that there's no cut data okay so I'm gonna go ahead and hit next and hit start and in this case it is actually working and it will cut it and I've tested it and it cuts the score marks so in this instance it did work it cut the score marks and everything and everything was fine despite the fact that back here it didn't indicate that it was going to cut anything so again uh, it will work but I just want to give you guys a heads up and let you know that this is just one of the many problems that you may run into when you're testing and running a beta program. So of course, I'm going to notify Silhouette and let them know 
that I've run into this and hopefully they'll correct it. But so I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a heads up, especially if you use your Cameo and your Silhouette Studio Designer Edition or higher to cut SVG files that you may in fact run into these sorts of problems. Stay on top of all things Dreaming Tree and engage with us today. Get the latest news and enter in our giveaways on Facebook. Get inspired by following us on Pinterest. Be the first to see our new product launches on Instagram. Do you prefer Twitter? Yep, we're there too. Watch our beautiful product trailers and assembly tutorials on YouTube. For more information, visit www.3dsvg.com. Live, craft, love, and dream.